Yo, what's going on there, folks? Earthmaster here. It is June 9th, 2018, 9.20 p.m. here Pacific Time. Uh, just a heads up, I'm still working on the stream. Uh, I got some uh, people looking at it and obviously trying to get this thing back going. I am pretty much uh, found the source of the problem. I believe it's with the ISP as I'm getting uh, great download speeds, but the upload is very choppy and inconsistent, which would make sense considering all the buffering that's going on when the live stream was going. Um, so that's uh, something I'll have to deal with probably tomorrow or Monday. Uh, but for now, we'll go over a quick update video in regards to uh, earthquake activity around the globe. Uh, I had a little earthquake this morning in northern Oklahoma region, a 4.4 earthquake near Cherokee, Oklahoma. And i um, show you guys here on this map here real quick. Also while I'm going to that, um, I'm probably going to go ahead and fire up the stream anyway tonight. Um, and it will be choppy, obviously. Um, I'll try to keep it uh, a little bit lower bit rate, so maybe it won't do that as much. But uh, I'm kind of hoping that possibly it will hopefully automatically just sort itself out. I, I doubt it. I doubt if it will. It's kind of like opening your engine of the, or opening the hood, you know, to your engine in your car, and you know, finding out maybe a problem or something that you're having, and just moving wires and tapping on stuff with a screwdriver, or maybe a hammer, you know, or banging on stuff like I do sometimes, in hopes that it will sort itself out. It's kind of what I'm hoping maybe that will happen with the live stream tonight. So I will leave it on. Um, I'm probably just going to leave a generic version of it on. Uh, and that version that you've seen was just the uh, Earthquake 3D globe and also some live data coming in. Uh, there is that 4.4 earthquake in, near Cherokee, Oklahoma this morning uh, at a depth of 5 kilometers. Quite a few people felt it throughout uh, a good portion of Kansas and Oklahoma. Um, this also coincides with activity that's going on over in Yellowstone National Park. That's this region right here. This is an overview of all the seismographs in Yellowstone National Park, uh, Wyoming. And you can see the 4.4 earthquake showing up rather nicely on quite a few of these stations here that are uh, showing. Also down here near uh, Flag Ranch. Pretty long, drawn out 4.4 this morning uh, in Oklahoma. That uh, kind of coincides with what's going on over here in the central central area of Yellowstone National Park. Quite a few earthquakes popping up here. These are small ones, similar to what we see during swarms. And uh, these are, you know, nothing big. Uh, definitely under a two. Maybe some are close to a two. But uh, a lot of activity uh, popping up right now with the increase in pressure. I believe we're going to see uh, this continue or possibly pick up a little bit more. And also, we should see some more earthquake activity in Oklahoma as well. You know, this is just a 4.4 with, uh, not for sure if they had any aftershocks or not. Uh, let's go over here to the uh, all magnitudes real quick. And yeah, I'm not seeing, not seeing any uh, aftershock activity following that 4.4 earthquake this morning in Oklahoma. Um, so, yeah, definitely I believe uh, activity will continue uh, within that region there. Uh, covering Hawaii real quick, folks, not a whole lot of change in that department. Uh, still quite a bit of earthquake activity. They did have a 5.2 earlier, and it seems as though we're having uh, at least a 5.0 earthquake, volcanic in nature, of course, that occurs uh, pretty much every day. And uh, this here is one day, all magnitudes, 454 earthquakes. Uh, just in one day in the big island of Hawaii uh, near the Kilauea um, crater area. So definitely ongoing activity and this is going to happen for quite some time folks. Uh, something that they need to get used to as I don't see an end in sight. Um, California, Nevada, this is actually the third time I made this video. Um, I did go in there and, and mess with some settings and hope that it would fix what's going on in my broadcasting software and it unfortunately it messed some stuff up uh, so I had to go back to default and uh, fix a few things following a couple video remakes 
California, nothing going on, folks. Pretty quiet. Mammoth Lake's got a few earth, small earthquakes going on down there, but nothing uh, to write home about. Uh, so once again, I will go ahead and keep the live stream up tonight. Like I say, it's going to be choppy. It may even come down. Uh, the bit rate might just go to zero, and then the live stream will end itself. But uh, I'm going to go ahead and try it in hopes of this thing sorting itself out. I've seen some buffering issues in the past when I'm streaming. And it seems as though they uh, it works itself out somehow. But I believe it is with my ISP. And I will contact them tomorrow. Uh, it's Sunday, but I'll contact them anyway. And then for sure on Monday we'll get this thing going, get it fixed, and uh, get back online full time. So... Anyway, folks, uh, you know, it's, it's frustrating. I've been working hours and hours trying to figure this thing out. I've had multiple computers over, uh, different plugins, different lines. Uh, I followed my, because um, I'm on cable, I followed my cable line all the way from the house to the pole to check for any cracks, any kind of peelings, you know, like any kind of erosion on the, uh, the cord itself. But uh, everything's good. It just comes down to one thing, and that's my upload speed, and it's very choppy, it's very inconsistent, and it's nothing to do with any type of equipment that I'm running. It's got something to do with uh, uh, what's going on on my ISP side, so we're going to get it fixed. Uh, live stream will be up here in about 5-10 minutes, and uh, like I say, I'm hoping it will work itself out. If not, it's going to be choppy, folks. I will leave a just a generic version up tonight, and... Uh, in hopes that it will fix itself by morning. So stay safe out there, folks. We'll talk at you soon.